You are watching the Canadian Public.
I received the Nexus 5 two weeks ago and I'm really happy with it. I'm especially happy with the stock Android operating system which does an excellent job of not getting in my way and not dictating how I should work. The new Nexus 5 and KitKat operating system successfully carry over the Nexus 4's simplicity and ease of use with some much needed improvements to the interface, the camera, the body, the picture and sound and the battery life. The Nexus 5 might not be the top of the line model like the Samsung Galaxy S4 or the Moto X, but it's good enough for me and the price is definitely right. Now it's true that I could have stuck with the Nexus 4 and not bother getting the Nexus 5. The improvements between the 4 and the 5 are significant, but not so dramatic that you really need to go for the upgrade. But after my Nexus 4 broke down last August, and with my Nokia N900 no longer able to receive phone calls, I was without a smartphone for two weeks. I had to rely on my Nexus 7 for non-phone related matters, which was inconvenient since I couldn't fit the thing in my pants pocket. I needed a second phone. Now some of you may think it's a bit crazy to pay a total of $792 Canadian for two phones, especially since one of them will be sitting in a drawer waiting for the other one to break down. But do bear in mind that I still paid less for these two phones than I would have paid for a single matching iPhone 5S. That's it for my mobile cellular phone history and the Nexus 5. I'm Francois Caron. Thank you for watching. Okay, Google, make me a sandwich. What? Make it yourself. <laughs>